Hi folks. So in prior videos, I shared how to build and mount a LoRaWAN antenna on a tile roof, how to set up a weatherproof LoRaWAN gateway, and how to set up a node to talk to the Things Network for registering remote environmental data. In this video, I'll take a walk around my neighborhood with a node to get an idea of what kind of coverage I can get from this new gateway in a residential community. To help with data logging, I'll be using the TTN Mapper app on an Android phone. This app uses the GPS capabilities of my phone to map signal strength coverage and also gives me the ability to download text files with telemetry details. For this first test, this is the area I'm interested in testing coverage relative to my gateway located on my roof. And this is the path I'll be walking while testing coverage with my node. For perspective, my neighborhood spans almost half a mile with respect to this loop I'll be walking. The gateway itself is a Rack 2245 wired to a Homebrew quarter wave ground plane antenna. I don't have modeling software to determine the gain of my antenna, but assuming a 2 dBi gain coupled with 35 feet of coax, I calculate I'm putting out a little over a third of a watt from the antenna mounted on my roof. This is a conceptual model of my gateway on the left. My walk through the neighborhood will generate path losses due to interferences from homes, signal reflectance, and vegetation. The antenna on my node should give the receiving signal a little boost. As long as the received signal is higher than the lowest receiver sensitivity of my node, I should be able to register telemetry. I'll be running the tests with two nodes registered to the same application ID in my Things Network profile. The first will be hooked up to a wire antenna and the second to a commercial antenna purchased from Adafruit that hosts 2 dBi of gain. Each node will be running the same sketch sourced to the learning section of Adafruit, details of which are in the description of this video. With respect to setting, there is some topography in my area with these arrows showing the general gradient, and I'm also surrounded by desert vegetation and washes, which should provide some good opportunities for path loss experiments at a later date. This shows the location of my antenna, demonstrating I have some elevation relative to my surroundings. And you can also see the general gradient, which provides some context for the results I'll be sharing. This is looking up gradient to the west from ground level relative to my gateway location. And this is looking downstream to the east. I'll mention here that for my first test, I had adaptive data rate turned on. And what this means is my device will try to optimize power consumption by adjusting the spreading factor or time taken to send data to my gateway. A higher spreading factor consumes more power, but it also has a better chance of reaching my node. In the sketch hosted by my node, this is the line of code that is modified to turn adaptive data rate on, which in turn will override any attempt to set a fixed spreading factor. And I'll briefly mention here that I did check the visoir on my antenna to make sure that that wasn't a factor in my test results. Friday morning, it's a little windy, so sorry if the, if the sound isn't that great, but in any event, I went ahead and I disconnected the antenna uh, from the gateway, and I hooked up the vector impedance analyzer uh, to the cable that's uh, connected to the antenna on the roof. And I'm really interested in knowing if there's any impact from uh, threading 35 feet of coax to the, uh, to the gateway. So let's take a look. And here you can see, let me hold this still, that the visoir is under two, so that's good. Uh, I have this currently set up for uh, 904.5 megahertz. I think when I originally tuned this antenna, I had this actually tuned to about 915, so all things considered, this is looking pretty good. And with that, here are the results showing the combined coverage for both the wire and commercial antenna. As you can see from the legend, the red-orange dots show where signal strength measured by RSSI was relatively weak, and the yellow-green dots show where signal strength was relatively stronger. Of note, I had no coverage to the west, likely because of higher elevation on that side of the community, which, when coupled with homes, blocked the line of sight to my gateway antenna. Let's zoom into this area and break things down a little bit more. Let's first focus on the April 25th survey, which was conducted using a wire antenna. All right, folks, it's Sunday, April 25th, and I'm taking a walk around the neighborhood, and I've got... Uh, 
this little mapper application that was recommended in the uh, comments to see how well my gateway is performing and uh, picking up the snow around the neighborhood. Here you can see the coverage in the vicinity of the gateway was good, as would be expected, but coverage on the eastern side of the loop was relatively weak with large gaps. So what happens if I take the same walk with a commercial antenna attached to my node? Okay folks, it's April 26th and this time I'm going to take the walk uh, with this uh, improved antenna. This is a little 2 dBi antenna that I purchased from Adafruit. In this case, we do increase the frequency of hits to the east, but the signal strength is still rather marginal. And finally, this map shows you the combined results of both tests. I decided to try this test once more, this time setting adaptive data rate off and using a spreading factor of 7 in my code. In this case, I'm only going to try the experiment with the commercial antenna. And here are the results. Really, not that much different relative to having adaptive data rate off with the commercial antenna. I should mention that the frequency of hits may have been impacted by the fact that I was taking a walk with my wife on this test, and we may have been walking a little quicker relative to the first two tests. And here's the coverage for all three tests. Of interest on that last test, I did register three hits with relatively good signal on the western side of my community. But upon taking a closer look at these hits from within the Things Mapper app, I discovered the node was bypassing my gateway altogether, and instead hitting a gateway near downtown Tucson. Upon further investigation on the Things network, I learned this gateway was about six and a half miles away. And upon researching the respective gateway ID, I learned it was being hosted at the University of Arizona on the Gould Simpson building, likely connected to an antenna on the roof with good elevation and line of sight. As a final check on coverage, I decided to see what would happen if I slowed down my walking gait. Perhaps by slowing things down a bit, I might have a better chance of pinging my gateway while walking along the outer loop. In response, I tried one last test on April 2nd using the node with the commercial antenna and adaptive retry set to off. To set up the comparison, this was the coverage realized with my commercial grade 2dBi antenna while taking a relatively fast walk around the neighborhood with adaptive data rate set to off. Not that great along the outer loop as you can see here. And here are the results generated from slowing things down a bit. As you can see, the results improved significantly, so much so that I had to add a few extra colors to the legend to capture the improved RSSI, not realized in prior experiments. Assuming no other environmental or hardware factors were changed, this suggests that when moving, I can realize a better RSSI by slowing my speed during data collection and keeping adaptive data rate turned off. And finally, here are the combined results of all the experiments. And I'll note here that although the last experiment uh, improved my RSSI significantly, I still couldn't overcome the path losses uh, when I started approaching the west side of my community. So RSSI was improved, but overall coverage pretty much remained the same. So this was a good introduction to coverage from an aerial perspective. But what does line of sight relative to signal strength look like on the ground? To help share those details, I collected photos from points of interest associated with the survey. This map shows the locations of those photos, which I'll now summarize individually. So let's first summarize both signal strength and the view from the east side of my community from within this little cul-de-sac. In these results, I'll go ahead and uh, place an arrow showing the general direction of the gateway and distance measured off of Google Earth and I'll also put a box around the respective telemetry results. So there you can see that the RSSI um, looking towards the gateway at the end of this cul-de-sac well, really wasn't that great. Okay, this next shot is gonna be a little bit closer to the gateway, really just across the street. And here are the results. Uh, the gateway is about 175 feet away. It's clearly visible on my roof and the RSSI isn't really that bad as I would expect. Okay, and moving a little bit further north into the cul-de-sac, 
And here are the results. And you can see that my home is still visible about 450 feet away, but I don't have direct line of sight with the, uh, with the antenna serving that gateway uh, since it's blocked by that large Palo Verde tree. Okay, so now I'm on the main loop serving my community. And here's the RSSI at a distance of 715 feet with the view of my gateway partially blocked. Again, things improved significantly when I turned adaptive data rate off and slowed my walk. Okay, continuing around the loop, and here's the RSSI improved along the outer loop, regardless of visibility being blocked by neighborhood homes. Okay, and here I'm continuing my walk around the loop, and here's another example showing improved RSSI along the outer loop, regardless of poor visibility. And continuing along the loop, with good line of sight, I had a very nice RSSI from the east side of my neighborhood looking across a wash. And I should mention here that you can just barely see the antenna on the roof of my house, uh, which is just underneath that uh, red arrow in this photo. And that last photo was pretty much the last point that I was able to establish telemetry with my gateway, but I'll continue the walk around my uh, neighborhood just to show you uh, what line of sight looks like relative to where my gateway is placed. And I'll briefly mention here that although I wasn't able to establish telemetry with my own gateway, uh, this stretch of road right here captures that six and a half mile ping to the University of Arizona's gateway on the Gould Simpson building. So what are some of the conclusions I can derive from this preliminary experiment? Well, the first is that coverage for my gateway extended to 850 feet from my node, even without line of sight, but was limited to the east side of my community. And I should note here that it's at least 850 feet because I didn't really uh, push the bounds of telemetry on the east side by walking down some of those uh, cul-de-sacs. I just stuck to the loop. And uh, during a mobile survey through uh, my residential community, RSSI improved significantly when I turned ADR off and I set the spreading factor to seven. And finally, when I slowed down my walk uh, along the outer loop where visibility was blocked by adjacent homes. And finally, although my gateway was blind to the west side of my community, I did manage to ping a second gateway located six and a half miles away, hosted by the University of Arizona, which was pretty exciting. So this was a good first try, but uh, there are still some outstanding questions that, that remain. Uh, the first of which is, I'm curious to know how deactivating ADR will impact the performance of my uh, wire antenna node relative to the commercial antenna. Uh, specifically, will it perform similarly well if I slow down my walking gate? I haven't really tested that out yet. And also, I, I should again note that I limited my uh, survey to the main street that loops my community. So I'm curious to know if my gateway will reach farther to the east if I extend my survey. Also, my gateway is using a homemade quarter wave ground plane antenna. And although I did test the visware on it and it was working fairly well, I am curious to know if adding a commercial 5.8 dBi antenna will improve overall coverage. In fact, I've ordered a couple antennas to uh, give that a shot. And finally, most important for me personally is I'm curious to know how my node's gonna perform if I drop down into the washes surrounding my home. Uh, specifically, will I be blind to the gateway or is there a possibility of using LoRa to monitor stormwater in these adjacent washes? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're curious about LoRa, like I am, and what its capabilities are, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, I hope to uh, do all kinds of additional tests, including 
uh, looking at the impact of commercial antennas on, on the gateway itself and maybe even exploring some of the surrounding mountain ranges to see if I can uh, ping the gateway uh, from these locations. So thanks for watching, subscribe for updates, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thanks.